the context of this competition. Tewe Ming, normally SU4, has been obliged to move up a category. So, interesting challenge for him. SU5 is for players with a low level impairment affecting one arm, a high degree of impairment affecting one arm, the loss of one limb, or the minor loss of one limb. Players choose which side to hold the racket. Higher level impairments play with their unaffected arm, those with lower level impairments play on that side. So we'll have two left-handers. Putra Odi here. Younger of the two players. Very strong uh, member of a doubles team. calls the players to be ready. And the crowd, or at least the majority of the crowd, that is, will be behind Wei Ming. And let's hope that their support will be positive and enthusiastic. So crucial quarterfinal match at stake is a place in the semi-final against Nugroho. And you can be sure that every point that Wei Ming wins will be greeted with feverish applause from the clappers. Good. Well judged. Hallmark of Tae Wei Ming's play. Normally his accuracy, not just depth there, but also how tightly he can play his drop shots and his net shots. Very well prepared. Oh, 
Odi trying to increase the pace. Just jolting himself out of a slightly lethargic start. Well, the early lead in Tei Wei Ming's favour. Good solid start to build on. Testing both players simultaneously. Quick reflexes by both players. Nice shot down the line. Four point lead, 6 2 for Wei Ming. Inch perfect. <laughs> Nicely done. The fist goes up. Got to keep it going. Tay Wiming definitely settled the better of the two. Some rasping shots and some great touch as well. Trying to play slightly too fine a line. Well judged indeed. And I'm sure he senses that support being roused behind him. They're trying to probe and exploit any potential weaknesses on Weiming's backhand side. Let's see if he persists with that tactic. Oh, it's going to be very, very close. Must really try and sustain this four-point margin. Take himself into the interval with a substantial lead. Seven over. Six, nine.
Maybe find to, trying to find his length. Oh, miss hit. Not often you'll see a miss hit of that type. Perhaps Odio a little bit nervous still, a little bit shaken. Seven over. Seven, ten. Dreaming going to try and win easy points if possible. If there is such a thing, may have to lengthen out the rallies. Nicely played by Putra Odi. Moving a bit more comfortably. Retrieving well. Finishing the rally good. And some important rallies. This one in particular, important. chance was there and worked the opening some desperate play staying calm though and there reaches 11 but just a two-point margin, still going to be very tight. So far, so good. And Tae Wei Ming has managed to play a very steady game. Simon Ko, assistant coach, Mr. Tio, supporting there in the background. Well, I think we're in for a, a fascinating, a dramatic and enthralling contest here. And neither player will want to give way to the other. Uh, some of the fans, some recognizable faces from local institutions, local educational institutions. have been one or two lapses, a couple of poor serves. You must eradicate those and give yourself the best of chances. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah. And wrong footing his opponent. It calls for optimism. Cross court net shot by Wei Ming Adi unable to respond. Well, this is clearly going to be a very tight match. Just the one point between the two players. Oh, just drifts long. That's a shame.
Uh, Shuttle did a little tiptoe onto the top of the tape and then fell back. Now some steely determination required. not allow this gap to stretch any further crucial rallies coming up Nicely done. Now, desperately needs two or three points on the trot. Rally developing such tight play. <laughs> Wonderful to watch these players, their skill, their application, determination. Raming needs to find something a little bit special at this stage of the first game. Wow, just comes down on the line. So well calculated. This time, hear the sound coming off the rim of the racket. Both players immersed in the moment. Asking them to play on, Raming wanting to towel down. Chance for the smash. Body quick to the net. Gives himself game point. Uh, tremendous rallies. Introduction of a little bit more deception. Delay on the stroke production. Trying to squeeze out every potential advantage on each stroke. Not just about hitting the shuttle hard. Uh, and that first game has slipped away. What started very, very strongly, the latter stages, Waming just losing, losing his way. Odi, of course, delighted, but he knows he's going to have a huge battle in front of him in the second game. Calming words from Simon Coe. 